Hey guys, welcome back. Automotive Inquiries here. Um, so I had a lot of questions about um, the, the don't buy the Ram video and everything like that, but one of them, uh, a lot of questions have surfaced in regards to that one about how the towing ratings have changed for Ram. And this is one of the things that I, I'm going to ding Ram for in respect to, uh, it was just a few months ago, um, they actually took down their Ram um, towing by VIN search. Um, and you, when you went to that page, it just basically said the road ends here, whatnot, um, or it looks like you end up, uh, reached the end of the road. So I did a bunch of research and I found the link. It appears now today it may be back up or maybe up a few days ago. Um, I haven't been to their site for a while, um, but a lot of people wanted to know what that meant. Well, what it meant was is for some reason, Ram has lowered the tow ratings of already sold vehicles and it's already uh, lowering tow ratings for currently available vehicles. So say you bought a, via, a Ram a few years ago and they told you the, the truck could tow 20,000 pounds. Well, what has happened is you go in and plug your, your VIN back into that. That rating has came down. Now, it may have stayed the same on payload and lowered on just towing, or it may have changed on both. And I think that's going to cause a lot of issues. But if you've seen a lot of the videos out there, uh, Ram actually has been breaking in half because people have been putting, well, the weight that they've been told. And usually most people don't just do the bare minimum. They go 10 20% over which teach their own, but nonetheless, usually that's the margin that manufacturers give themselves. So if they say you can tow 20,000 pounds, they might have went over 10%, um, giving you an extra 2,000 pounds uh, in that rating. So, you know, in theory, you know, people think they can do that and then it ends up damaging their truck or whatnot. So they pulled down that part of the website, it disappeared. And just to put it within perspective, a few months ago, I was looking at adding a 6.4 Hemi to the channel. Um, and this specific one is still available to even to today. Um, it's available, and I went and drove it the other day. Um, and the tow rating on that went down by 2,500 pounds. So maybe that's why they're playing it safe. Maybe they're taking that 10% buffer out of there. I don't really know. I mean, those were spectacular tow ratings for um, gas pickups anyway, um, and even diesel pickups for being a three quarter ton. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to still put the link in the description of this video. So this is basically how to find the tow rating of your Ram truck. Now, that's going to be up to you how you follow up with this. If you're already a Ram owner and you go back and put your VIN in and say you even use this configurator and now your ratings have changed. Um, the TFL guys, their ratings changed, I think, by 2,000, 2,500 pounds. Um, so, you know, I would, I would be ticked off, you know, I'd be pretty upset, um, if that was me spending that kind of money with the anticipation that my three quarter ton or one ton could do certain things. And now I can't do them, not saying the truck couldn't still tow them, but now this basically puts a pinch back on the consumer saying that, you know, Hey, if you do overload the truck and you get in an accident or the truck fails because of that, it's not on Ram. Now, that being said, people that bought a, a year or so ago, they're, they were under the impression that their truck could do that. Now Ram's going back. So it'd be uh, within your best interest to go ahead and check these ratings, make sure you're not overloading that vehicle. And down below, I'm gonna put the uh, link in the description again to take you to there. So if for some reason you can't get to it, um, you're going to be able to go into the link down below and check your um, rating. Now, I don't know how far this they're gonna limit this back whether it be say 18 and up or whatnot, I don't know, but go ahead and put your VIN in it and see what happens. Um, but uh, it's definitely something there uh, to take a look at. So please do subscribe and hit the uh, notification bell. Got a lot of good content coming up. Um, another one we're gonna do is again, why I say don't buy a Ram. Uh, we'll go from there. So see you on the next one guys.